Welcome fellow motorhome enthusiasts and RV lunatics. In this video I'm not only going to show you how to empty your RV grey tank, but also how the whole system works and why it sometimes stinks when you're emptying it. I'm the Motorhome King and in this channel I'm going to teach you everything I know about RVs and each video is going to have something for both the professional full-timers and you new beginners. We all think it's annoying to have to empty our grey tank, but it is necessary because otherwise what happens if you don't is the grey water is going to start coming up the shower drain and it's going to be messy and it's going to stink real bad. Uh, so we want to avoid that and that's why we need to empty it. Another thing uh, that you can notice is while you're driving it starts to smell pretty bad. And that can also be because of your grey tank. So let's start at the be beginning. What is grey water? In your RV, you're going to have a normal kitchen sink, you're going to have a bathroom sink and your shower. And uh, every time you use those, the water goes down the drain, right? And that's going to be leftovers from your... When you're doing the dishes, the soap, and uh, after your shower, you're going to have hair going down the, the shower drain. And all of that is called grey water. Basically, as soon as it goes down the drain, it's grey water. Same goes here in the, the bathroom sink, goes down the drain, gets to, to the grey water tank. The toilet on the other hand have a separate system. So whatever goes down the toilet is not going to the grey water tank. That one is going to either if you have a separate um, black water tank or a cassette toilet. And underneath your sinks and shower drains when you're using the water, it goes down underneath here to a sewage pipe, which then can either go underneath your RV, like mine does, or if you have a double floor, it's probably gonna be in the double floor. So let's have a look underneath my RV here and take a look where exactly the sewage line goes. So I'm in the back underneath my RV and here we can see the, the drain from my shower. So it just pops out here, goes into this sewage, sewage line, pipe, and then goes up there and into this bad boy right here, this is my grey water tank where all the grey water is collected. Yeah, I'm still under here. So that was the, the shower drain. And then we got that one there. And over here is, is a sewage drain from the, from the kitchen sink. So it goes here and then it goes into this grey tank again. So that was the shower drain and the kitchen sink and I have one more drain from the, the bathroom sink which is a bit more over there. Let's have a look at that one. There we go. There we have the the last one. The last drain that goes into the grey tank which is situated here and this is the drainage point where we can drain the and empty the the grey tank so as you understand all the water that we use inside the rv that goes down any type of sink is going to end up in the grey water tank so the grey water tank and the fresh water tank are usually the same size if you start out with an empty grey water tank and a full fresh water tank, whenever the fresh water is out, you're gonna need to, to empty that grey tank. So that is the basics on how the grey water system works in your motorhome, RV or caravan. And this is going to be different in between RVs. Uh, so as you saw uh, in mine now, we had the, the sewage systems go out underneath 
the RV. Sometimes they can go in between double flooring or whatever. But if you want to figure out just how your gray water system works, you just follow the lines. So uh, look underneath the sink, you're going to see the, the sewage pipe coming straight out there. And just follow that one and you're going to see exactly where it leads. And all the water that comes down the, the drain is going to end up in your gray water tank. And the reason why we have that one is uh, because when you're doing the, the dishes and you're taking a shower and you're using soaps and shampoos and uh, uh, you're getting um, food uh, after doing the dishes that goes down the, the sink. And all of this stuff we don't want to just flush out um, underneath our RV to the nature. We want to uh, hold it in the grey water tank until we get to a disposal site. When we are at the disposal site we can safely dump our grey water. And these disposal sites uh, you can always find them at the campsite but often even at other places. Such as us now we are wild camping. Uh, it's called uh, so we we're staying for free all the time uh, and uh, right now in Spain it's very common with pretty much like free campsites and uh, that have special places where you can uh, dispose your grey water such as this one right here as well as refill fresh water and empty your cassette toilet so there we got to empty the toilet and we got we can uh, refill fresh water and right here and uh, we have the the gray water disposal so now we checked out the disposal site and we know that we can uh, can get there easily and, uh, and there's no obstacles in our way or anything like that so so now it's time to finally empty our gray tank All right, so now we are, uh, we've backed up and we have uh, lined up this, uh, the drainage uh, pipe uh, just above um, the drain uh, so that we avoid as much uh, like spill as possible because this can actually smell quite bad. Um, so it's better to get uh, the grey water directly down the drain and not for example uh, some people uh, they they have the <laughs> start draining the water out here and if you've had that grey water in your tank for a long time it's gonna stink and i mean if someone's living five meters away <laughs> you know that's not so nice and now you might wonder what why is he holding a wrench all right so the thing is we had a handle <laughs> to drain our grey water tank, but we lost it. And we had a wrench that worked as good, so why buy a new handle? No need, right? So this is the easy part, right? You just turn the handle, or in my case, I use the wrench. Okay, so just turn the handle and there comes the grey water. As you can see, there's some uh, leftover foods and stuff that's coming out. That's why we're trying to get it directly down the drain. Yeah. <laughs> no, but sometimes this grey water can actually stink pretty bad. And why is that? So since everything you flush down your sink is gonna go down to that grey water tank, all right? So you got uh, all the hairs and stuff and uh, foods and everything gets down to that grey water tank. And like now it's 30 degrees outside it's pretty warm uh, so what happens if all of this stuff stays in the gray water tank for a couple of days sometimes a week uh, bacteria is gonna start growing and it's gonna start smelling so that that is why sometimes you can have pretty bad smell from the from the gray water or uh, if you are traveling with kids and stuff and your family maybe your kids are peeing in the shower well doesn't feel that harmful right but uh, 
that pea is gonna mix with everything you have in the grey water tank and it's gonna start growing bacteria. So as you see, our grey tank is starting to get empty and it's just dripping a little bit now. So I'm just gonna close this up. Pop. On different RVs you're gonna have different solutions for this, alright? Before we needed to start using the wrench, we had a red handle that we just turned. And sometimes these, um, these valves can be situated in other places. Like if you have an RV that's uh, better made for, for winter camping, it's going to be in an insulated area, such as within a double flooring. Uh, and uh, now it's getting more and more common that the drain valve is in the center of the RV, in the middle. Uh, and then that you have a... Uh, there's a wire and a handle that you pull to, or twist to, to empty your, your grey water tank. Uh, but uh, that's more, more newer models uh, that I've seen that on. And we got a beauty from 96 uh, and uh, we're using the wrench instead. <laughs> And as I told you before, it's a bit annoying to have to move your RV every time to just empty the grey tank, right? Or refill some fresh water. What if you're at the campsite and you're just 20 meters from the, from the drainage, right? Like now, we were standing just over there, 20 meters away, no more. So what you can do uh, is you can get a bucket that you can slide underneath, drain, and empty your grey water into that one and carry it uh, to the drainage point, pour it in there. Uh, as well as uh, with the fresh water, maybe you have a long fresh water hose to refill your, your water. And there's also special uh, portable holding tanks uh, that holds the same amount as your grey water tank. Uh, but they are on wheels and you can uh, ro roll them away. So they actually have pretty big ones. They are normally called uh, blue boys and uh, it's a blue big uh, plastic uh, holding tank, portable. And uh, so this one you could slide underneath your uh, drainage valve, open it up, empty your grey water into that one and then roll it to your disposal point. And that way you won't need to move your RV every time you're gonna empty your grey tank. As well as if you want to refill the water, if you don't have a long water hose, you can also have a, a jar or a can with a long pipe uh, that you can use to pour, pour it into your RV. But more on that in another video. So, now you know exactly how your grey water system works, uh, where the pipes goes and uh, why you even have a grey tank, right? Uh, you need to keep that water there so you can dispose it at a proper site and that it's due to the bacterial growth inside the water tank and the duration of time that you keep the grey water in its tank uh, that makes it uh, smelly. So if you empty your grey water tank every day, you're not gonna get that smell, right? Sometimes when you're driving, you can start getting that smell as well. And that is due to the same reason, because if you have a pretty full grey water tank and you're driving, doo -doo -doo, and the grey water just splashing around in there, it's gonna wanna come up the, the drains. Um, it's not gonna pop up the drains unless it's over full, but um, the smell is gonna come up there. That's why you can, uh, you can feel that smell sometimes when you're driving. So I recommend to empty your grey water tank before you go driving, uh, as well as keeping it clean. Because if you do that, and um, empty it more regularly, you're not gonna have those smells and bacterial growth. So I hope that you have learned something from this video, and if you have, press that like button, and in this video we've talked a lot about how to empty it, uh, but not as much where to, right? Uh, because I've assumed that uh, you're gonna stay at the campsite, but we're not always gonna stay at a campsite, right? Some of us are more keen for to wild camp, or maybe you've been staying at some friends in their garden and you don't want to empty your grey tank there. Anyway, you don't want to check into a campsite just to empty it, right? And that's why in the next video I'm going to talk more about uh, grey water disposal while wild camping. Is it uh, legal to just uh, dump it on the ground or do you need to find these disposal sites? 
and how do you find these disposal sites. So that was all for today and remember I'm the Motorhome King and if you like this video remember to press that button and subscribe. See you in the next one. <laughs> I think ET approves. <laughs>